Hi, I am doing a review on the classic flap Chanel bag. I actually got this um, last year. I went to San Francisco um, with my dad and my little brother. They were uh, looking at colleges for my little brother. They were looking at Berkeley. But um, I have always wanted a Chanel and uh, so we just decided to go take a look. I kind of know that when I'm outside of Utah that I probably am going to get a bag. <laughs> so I was aware that this was something that I kind of wanted, but I was going to fill it out and see how I feel while I was in the store. Um, the salesman did a wonderful job. He explained a lot of fun things that kind of made the experience magical. And I don't feel like he needed to do that because it was just, it was super busy in there. Like so many Chanel's were leaving. It was just crazy how many women were just buying it. Just like no big deal. For me, it was a lot to swallow. Um, this is definitely the nicest bag that I own. So, um, but it was super exciting and uh, the salesman spent time with me explaining the bag, talking about Coco Chanel, kind of the history and things like that, which made it super exciting. Um, that was, you know, I don't remember every little detail that he told me, but I do think that like, if this is something you want, then you should go and experience that for yourself. So, um, but what I decided to do, so this is the medium size, I believe, um, and it's just the classic flap. I decided to go with, uh, the silver um, over gold, just because I felt like with the leather that I was choosing, it's a little bit more of a textured leather rather than the soft like lambskin leather. Um, and so I just felt like the silver kind of went nicer with this type of leather versus that lambskin. I feel like the gold would look nicer for the lambskin. And though I love the lambskin and I probably would have preferred it, um, I chose this because I did want it to be an everyday bag and not be something that I'm like worried to scratch it or something. This one is textured and things and so it just holds up I think a lot better. Um, so of course you can do the double strap like that over the shoulder. Um, or you can just drop it and have the longer chain which is kind of nice. camera's actually kind of high, but, um, and so one of the things that he did explain that I thought was cute was that Coco Chanel kind of created a purse that was supposed to be functional, um, and kind of diverse for everyday use. And one of the things that she did was put a pocket on the back and that is supposed to be like where you keep like extra, uh, cash and stuff for tipping. So I thought that was super cute. And then when you open the purse, it actually has this little extra flap and it's like a little privacy flap so that not just everybody and their dog can see into your bag. Um, I thought that was super cute. And then he also said that this was where she kept her love notes, which I thought was adorable. <laughs> and then inside here, I usually just, this first little pocket right here, I usually just keep my phone in there. And so that fits in there really nicely and I can even close up the bag and everything with that in there. And then the interior of the bag is red. I like that a lot. And then it's just perfect to keep a small wallet in there, um, keys, and like my makeup and like a little ponytail and things like that. This definitely isn't something that you want to cram your whole life into. I do feel like surprisingly it does, uh, I can keep my most favorite things in there. Um, and I actually prefer to keep a smaller bag around and not jam my whole life in there. The bigger the bag you give me, I'm going to see how much I can fit in it. So this is perfect and it prevents me from doing that. Um, and then, so aside from that area where I keep my phone and then the little privacy flap, inside of there is the bigger area. Can you see that? And then there's little pockets right here for like loose change and things. But then in the center, there's an area for your lipstick. So yeah, I've really enjoyed this bag and I do like that I can take it everywhere um, and I'm not worried about scratching it or something because of the leather. I am addicted to black. I feel like black is what I get every time in every bag. I'm actually already eyeballing another purse, uh, this Louis Vuitton and it's black again. I don't know why I do that to myself. Um, this purse costed about 3,900 or whoops, just kidding, hold on. 
4,900 is what I meant to say. Um, and the taxes were 416. And I kind of, I asked them because I, I know I'm so tacky, but like I hoped because, let's see, where was it at? Prada, when I was in Florida, Prada did this awesome thing where they're like, if we ship to your house and since we don't have a Prada there, like for the inconvenience, we will remove the taxes off of your bag. And so I thought that was super nice. And it's nice to get that extra like couple hundred dollars in savings. Um, and so I asked Chanel about that and he said that they don't do that. So I was a little bit disappointed with that, but um, that's okay. And then I wanted to show you too, it came in like a really cute bag with like a little 3D flower on it. Super fun. And then box and the duster. Oh, and that's something else I thought was cute. It comes with a little booklet that talks all about Coco Chanel and it like walks you through the steps of how the purse was made. Um, which I thought was super fun because honestly a dream of mine would be to design purses and handbags. That'll never happen, but um, I think that'd be so cool. So it was really neat to like see this little booklet and that they show you step by step like kind of how the bag is made. Um, leather and like each piece of it being put together. I thought it was super interesting to look through. Cause that's my thing. Like, I feel like everybody blows their money on something stupid, whatever it is. I don't know. Everybody justifies it somehow. Mine's handbags. I freaking love purses. So I really enjoyed this one. I'm trying to think if I went over everything. Um, this has definitely been a video that I've been meaning to get to for a while. I just have not had the time. I've been in the middle of opening up um, my second location. It's an eyelash studio. And so it's finally coming together. We're like 90% finished. And so I'm in here today taking some photos of the space. Um, and so I just was like, oh, perfect day to get my little video out of the way that I've been meaning to. I'm trying to think if there's any other questions. I feel like it's held up super well. I seriously drag this thing around everywhere. I do have to admit, like, I'll go out and have a few drinks somewhere. <laughs> it's probably not the best idea to take your Chanel if you've had a few drinks. I feel like I could see myself leaving it somewhere for sure. Um, but I take it anyways because I just love it so much. Let's see. The inside, I do throw my keys in here. I've been worried that I was going to like scratch it up or something. And so far, it hasn't scratched up at all. Like it seriously looks brand new. I really, really am happy with this purchase. No threads have come loose or anything. There's seriously been nothing wrong with this bag. They built this very, very well. Um, yeah, not even the hardware. I was worried about that getting scratched too. That actually still looks really, really good. I don't think there's anything else to go over. Um, if you have any questions or tell me about the Chanel's that you guys have recently got or what one you're interested in, I'd be curious. I'm already craving another bag. I know it's ridiculous, but I'm sure you understand. Anyways, that is it.